Hey y'all, Minister Christ coming forward with good news of Jesus Christ, that Jesus died and was buried, and that he rose again on the third day for your sins, according to the scriptures. Once you believe that, you're saved and sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise till redemption day. Welcome to the family if you truly believe that in your heart. It doesn't matter your background, where you come from. Gay, straight, Muslim, whatever religion you are. Devil worship, been there. Witchcraft, been there. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Lost in the world with so much brokenness and hurt and betray to each and every one of us. And there comes a point in life where you just break in life after so much time of trying to find love in all the wrong places. Women and gentlemen, I've been there, done that. I've been in gangs and gangs violence, been shot at. People wanted to murder me. I've been in witchcraft, devil worship as a teenager. I've been with a lady, lay down with a woman in middle school. I've tasted and I've seen God's grace and his mercy on my life. When I had dreams before being shot at by the gangs, it was a warning years ago. The people that I was hanging around was bad news. Even though I wasn't a child of God, God still had mercy on me to share the love and the peace and the sound mind of his testimony of Jesus Christ that lives within me, that changed my life from the brokenness, so that I could rejoice evermore and wake up and know that I am loved by Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lords of lords of all creations, the one and only Son of God that died for all humanity's sins, the one that loves you and will never leave you nor forsake you, the one that died on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago to fulfill the whole law, the 613 commandments that he fulfilled for you so you can inherit the kingdom by only believing what he did for you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, that Jesus died for you and he was buried and that he rose again on the third day for your sins, according to the scriptures. If you truly believe that in your heart, you become a son of God. And if you're a son of God, you're a hear of God through Christ Jesus too. I suggest that you read the 13 letters of Apostle Paul written to us, the good news. Those who come to condemn in John 3, 17, mark and avoid them because they're not sharing the good news. They're sharing condemning news and Jesus did not come into the world to condemn it. He came that it might be saved through him. And see, all you got to do is believe right here in your heart too. I've been on the cocaine and drinking and drinking to kill myself, to try to kill myself. All the, the abuse, the torture, being tied to a bad poop forced down my throat, domestic violence, I can relate with you. So come to me and I'll pray for you because I love you and Jesus does too. Time is short. Time is running out for the dispensation of grace this year. So look up and lift your heads, oh weary saints and people worldwide and turn to Jesus while you still can.